gushy, starstruck lovers, cozy Coco on Christmas Eve, or drama queens behind the scenes. Is anyone really as sweet as Hallmark makes them out to be? With her blonde hair, bubbly personality, and impressive acting chops, Jodie Sweetin was once an all-American sweetheart, but her life behind the scenes was anything but wholesome. Hi, Uncle Jesse. Ready for more ballerina? Uh, we'll play it later, okay? Okay. It's later! In 1987, Sweeten was cast as Stephanie Tanner in the comedy series Full House, but she found herself struggling with substance abuse when the show ended. She wrote in her memoir, Unsweetened, that she started drinking when she was just 14 years old. She later moved on to harder narcotics such as meth and cocaine, according to E! News. But by the time Sweeten joined the Hallmark Channel, she was sober. The actor has since become an advocate for addiction recovery. For her, talking about addiction as a disease can help others who are struggling struggling and facilitate understanding from those around them. She told People of her own experience, it's a story with a message of second chances and turning things around and being able to overcome some adversity. As one of Hallmark Channel's most celebrated actors, Danica McKellar starred in nearly 20 network productions before she jumped ship and signed a multi-picture deal with Great American Media. But while you may be familiar with her acting talent, McKellar is also a math whiz. Math actually sort of saved me from the whole child star thing. By the time McKellar attended UCLA in the mid-90s, she'd already wrapped a six-season run as Winnie on The Wonder Years. In 2022, she explained on Entertainment Tonight, But when I got to school, Everywhere I went, people all over campus would shout across camp, you know, hey Winnie, I couldn't get away from it. She went on to reinvent her identity by graduating summa cum laude with a bachelor's degree in mathematics. These days, McKellar divides her time between acting and her work as an advocate for math education. She used her passion for academics to pen the books Hot X, Algebra Exposed, Girls Get Curves, Geometry Takes Shape, and Kiss My Math. As she told USA Today of her writing, today's young women need to realize they don't have to choose between being smart or the one who takes great selfies. They can absolutely be both. After starring in more than 20 movies over the course of her Hallmark Channel career, Candace Cameron Bure earned the title Queen of Christmas. Then, in 2021, she made the shocking decision to leave the network. She told Us Weekly of her final film, I always try to make it the best that I can, but I just, I let the pressure go last year and it made making this one that much better. But she wasn't done making headlines. In July 2022, she found herself in the midst of a public feud when former Dance Mom star Jojo Siwa called out the actor on TikTok as the, quote, rudest celebrity she ever met. Although Bure later apologized to Siwa in a lengthy Instagram post, their spat was reignited in November of that year. That's when Siwa, who came out as pansexual in 2021, discovered what Bure had told The Wall Street Journal. When asked if same-sex couples will be portrayed in Great American Christmas films, Bure said, I think that Great American Family will keep traditional marriage at the core. We are creating Christmas memories. Thank you, God. In response, Siwa wrote on Instagram, Honestly, I can't believe after everything that went down just a few months ago that she would not only create a movie with the intention of excluding LGBTQIA+, but then also talk about it in the press. This is rude and hurtful to a whole community of people. With several Hallmark Christmas movies under her belt, Alicia Witt has certainly proven her acting talent over the years. In 2021, she also wowed fans when she released her single, Talk To You, telling people, this song really is about connecting. It's about that longing to learn everything there is to know about someone, to check in and find out how they're truly doing. I can no longer tell lies. What followers didn't realize was that at the same time, she wasn't doing well herself. Just a few months after her track was released, Witt suffered the sudden loss of both of her parents. Then, in June 2022, the actor posted on Instagram that she had been undergoing treatment for cancer. She wrote, I did deeply wish to keep my diagnosis private until it was 100% healed, God willing. I'm so grateful to all those along the way during treatment who honored me by protecting my privacy during these months. By December 2022, Witt was celebrating the regrowth of her hair and her new sense of purpose on Instagram. Nikki DeLoach has starred in many Hallmark Channel classics, including The Perfect Catch and Love to the Rescue. And considering she landed an exclusive multi-picture deal with Hallmark in 2022, it seems she's on the road to superstardom. Merry Christmas, everyone! But before she became a Hallmark icon, DeLoach got her start with Mickey Mouse. In 1993, she joined Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, Ryan Gosling, and Christina Aguilera on the all-new Mickey Mouse Club. Although she only starred in a few episodes, DeLoach reportedly hit it off with one Clubhouse member in particular, Justin Timberlake. 
She told The Hollywood Reporter, We instantly became best buddies, like brother and sister, and we have been brother and sister ever since. We're just chosen family, and I'm so honored because he's always been there anytime I've needed him, and I've always been there when he needed me. Ready for the Christmas spirit competition? Oh, absolutely. After taking on the character of Daniel Mead in Ugly Betty, Eric Mabius was picked up by the Hallmark Channel. Since then, he starred in almost 20 movies, including 13 from the Sign Seal Delivered franchise. But while we all know Mabius as Oliver O'Toole, it seems as if he's been keeping a sporty secret. When he was younger, Mabius was a member of the U.S. Junior National Luge team. Although he wasn't competing at the time, during the run-up to the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver, Team USA named him as one of their honorary team captains. Mabius tweeted, this is the time of the Olympic season wherein I get most fired up. Everyone coming together, years of unyielding, immeasurably hard work, and endless commitment. His former coach has also spoken out about the actor's glory days, telling Team USA he was a good slider and had the talent to achieve national team status. Eric was fearless, and I think he could have done something in luge, but he had a calling and returned home to pursue acting. Ashley Williams has been a Hallmark regular for almost 10 years, with features like Christmas in Evergreen and Sister Swap. And along with acting, directing, and mentoring new talent, Williams is also a former certified doula. She reportedly underwent training after witnessing the pain that her sister Kimberly Williams Paisley experienced during labor. She told Country Living, I was completely unprepared for what happened, and I'm so protective of my sister that when she was in pain, I just wanted to scoop her up and run out of there. The craziest birth I've ever been witness to as a doula is my own! Her doula talents came in handy when she helped fellow actor and friend Sherry Appleby with her delivery, according to People. But considering her many ventures, she has since retired from the practice, according to her Instagram bio. Niall Mater is a huge fan of the tropes of Hallmark Channel creations, from cheesy near-miss kisses to dramatic tree lighting scenes. But when Us Weekly asked about his favorite of them all, he admitted, oh my gosh, it's got to be the hot cocoa lines. But Mater was originally on a path that didn't have any cozy cocoa at the end of it. The Canadian-born actor spent his early years living on his family's dairy farm. As he told the Chicago Tribune, when I turned 17, my parents couldn't deal with me anymore. I was quite a bad kid, actually. My parents actually forced me to go work on the oil rigs with my grandfather. That's when I realized everything I'd been missing out on. He used the job to fund a career in film, but then a life-changing rig accident saw him reevaluating everything. After suffering a crushed leg, he said, it took me about six months to learn how to walk again. And when I got back to the rig, my very first week, I saw a terrible accident. The next day, I quit. I came back to Vancouver. After a month of working as a bartender, I ended up booking my very first lead role. While Hallmark Channel fans know Luke McFarlane as the romantic lead in A Valentine's Match, The Mistletoe Promise, and Just Add Romance, the conversation around the actor exploded after he starred alongside Billy Eichner in the gay romantic comedy Bros in 2022. Talk of a sequel is ongoing as of 2023, with McFarlane telling Variety, the only thing I told Billy is, I want an opportunity to sing, too. Wait, sing? As a graduate of both the Lester B. Pearson School for the Arts and Juilliard, McFarlane has immersed himself in every facet of the arts over the years. In eighth grade, he fronted a band with his classmates. He is also a classically trained cellist and trumpet player. When he learned that his character in the movie Chateau Christmas played the violin, he made sure to take his cello with him for filming. He told TV Goodness, I had that 14-day quarantine, so I wanted my cello in my room with me so I'd have something to do. The original script was having my character play the violin and I said, let's change it. In the end, production used McFarland's talent to their advantage. Wow. Yeah, that felt pretty good. <laughs>